Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. All right, so today we're going to talk about how to deal with nerves and stress as a hitter. The first thing I'm going to say is that I do think it is normal to have some nerves when you get to the plate. Stress is probably not a good thing, but nerves are, are normal. I'd say almost every at bat I got, there were some nerves involved, right? And I think just playing the game, being competitive, you're going to have some nerves. But if you feel very nervous, that cannot be a good thing. So let's talk about some tips, some keys to go through. Having a routine so that you can go through a checklist that I think will help you eliminate some of those nerves and that stress if you have it. So the first thing is when I step to the plate, I wanna take a deep breath. Now every single time I got up the hip, I would go through the exact same routine. And so when I put my back foot in to the batter's box, the first thing I do is I take a deep breath in through my nose and then out through my mouth. And I do so slowly. And so when I do this, it helps slow my heart rate. It helps calm me down. Really, really important. Just think about, it doesn't even have to be baseball related, but if there's something going on where you get a little too excited or maybe you are a little bit nervous, just by taking a deep breath, it will naturally start to Again, slow that heart rate down and give you a feeling of calmness. So that's really key, that's the first thing. The next thing I do is I go to a focal point and for me, I always use the label of my bat. And so when I step into the box and I take that deep breath in through my nose slowly and then I let it out through my mouth, I also will find a focal point on my bat. And what that's doing is it's just bringing me to the present. It's helping me be where my feet are, in the batter's box. One thing about hitting that, that hitters have a tough time with is forgetting about the past or not thinking about the future. And so a lot of times players get in the box and they're thinking about, oh, that last at bat that I had when I chased that ball out of the zone or the last at bat that I had that the umpire rang me up on a pitch that I thought was a ball or, you know, I hit that hard line drive the third and he caught it and I just can't get any hits. It doesn't matter how hard I hit the ball. I just have no luck. And so they're, they're hitting in this at bat, but they're really mentally still in their last at bat or they're in the future. And so they're saying, oh, I've got to get a hit here. If I don't get a hit here, I'm going to be 0 for 4. And so the goal is to be present and play pitch to pitch. You have to play the game one pitch at a time. And so by taking a deep breath and then finding a focal point, if I'm looking at this label right here and I'm concentrating on it, well, then all I'm focused on is the here and the now. I'm not thinking about the last step at and I'm not thinking about the next step at. So that's really key. So that's the second step a focal point. It doesn't have to be the label of your bat. It could be the corner of the plate. It could be really anything, but the label of bat I feel like is easy because it's always there. It's right there in front of you. And that's something a lot of players use. If you watch major league games, just watch how hitters go through their routine and you'll see that a lot. A lot of players will put the bat up in front of their face and they'll find the label of their bat. Now the next thing after I do those two and I start to go through kind of my pre-pitch move here, the next thing is having a final thought. And for me, a final thought is again, just something small that you can think about that will help you not think about 10,000 things. That's what happens with a lot of players is that they get in the box and they're thinking about, you know, my hands and my feet and all these swing mechanic things, right? I've got to get ready and get my foot down and do this and do that. And it's really difficult to hit when you're thinking about 50 things. If you have a cluttered mind, you're gonna have a slow bat. And so I have to have a clear mind. Now it's, it's hard, almost impossible to say, hey, don't think about anything, right? A lot of players say that, oh, I, I, I try to think about nothing in there, but I, I got all these thoughts going on in my head. It's hard to think about nothing. And so what you do is you pick something that you can think about that will help you not think about 50 different things. So an example would be, I'm getting up here and I'm just thinking about, hey, let's have quick hands here. Quick hands, quick hands, quick hands. So something easy like that. Or maybe it's you know inside the ball, right? So I get up, I'm like inside the ball, 
inside the ball. Or maybe it's short to the ball, right? Let me be short here. Be short. Be short. So something, something small, something that will help you, but something that is going to allow you to not think about 50 different things. So I think a good one is quick to the ball or short to the ball. I think that's something simple that can help you. Now, the last thing is thinking about the process and not the result. And so after you go through these steps, you go through step one of breathing, you go through step two of a focal point, you go through step three of a final thought, and now you get up and you swing, right? And, and no matter what happens, the important thing is making sure that I've gone through that process properly. If I stick to that plan and I go through that process, I'm gonna give myself a chance to hit the ball hard. I'm not always gonna hit the ball hard. Hitting is difficult. And so I might go through that whole process very well. I've done a great job of preparing for the at-bat. I put a great swing on the ball and I line out to somebody. And so you can look at this two ways. If you look at it just based off the result, you got out. Well, now you're going to get upset. Your confidence is going to go down when you did everything right. The other way to think about it would be to say, I did a good job with my breathing. I did a good job of my focal point. I was in the present. I was on time. I had a final thought. I put a great swing on the ball. I did everything in my power to hit the ball hard. I hit the ball hard and I just didn't get a hit. But that's a success. And so I go back to the dugout and I said, I might be 0 for 1, but in my mind, I'm 1 for 1. I just did everything that I was supposed to do. And so when I go to the plate next time, I'm confident because I know I succeeded. I controlled all the controllables. Everything that was in my power, I did well. And so that's the key. And I see so many times, and it's difficult to do, but I see so many times a player line out and they walk back to the dugout with their head down. And when they get up the next time, they step in the box and their mindset is, I can't get a hit. I hit that ball so hard and I still didn't get a hit. How am I ever gonna get a hit this at bat? And they've already gotten themselves out in their mind before they've even seen a pitch. Now, after you do all this, it's simply repeat. It's go right through the process again. Deep breath, focal point, Final thought, think about the process. If you repeat that over and over and over again, I have no doubt you'll have more confidence, you'll have less nerves and less stress. Hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills, we break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.